first step of installing the TME3 is going to be preparing the back plate. As you can see, the bare black plate is marked for each of the different sockets to be used. We're going to be using an 1155 Intel, so we're going to put the bolt into the 1155 spacing, and then the nut will go on there to hold it into place. Tighten it down, just needs to be snug. Then plastic washer goes on the top to protect it from grinding out on your motherboard. And naturally we're going to do this with all four. And we will have a completed back plate. With the back plate in place, you can see we have the four bolts coming through around the CPU socket. After applying our thermal interface material to the cooler itself, we can just drop it right into place and four spring clips go onto the bolts. And you just need to tighten it down with a flathead screwdriver. Installed in the case with the fans in place, the Thermax Eclipse 3 actually is a really nice looking cooler. It doesn't take up a ton of room. Blocks the first RAM slot just a tiny bit on this particular motherboard. No problem using um, standard height RAM. Uh, obviously higher RAM would interfere with the front fan, but you could use any uh, RAM you want in the last three slots. The black nickel looks really nice, uh, especially in this particular application with the black motherboard. Two fans. Doesn't leave a huge footprint. Really just a good looking install, very nice looking piece from uh, Spire. Install itself, uh, not easy, not terrible. Um, bounding kit was a bit rudimentary, a uh, little bit difficult to work with. Would have liked to have seen a better developed uh, mounting kit from Spire for this particular piece. But all in all, not a terrible install and a really good looking piece once it's in the case.